In this video, we're going to continue with looking at Microsoft Office 2007's publisher. In the last video, we looked at templates and how you can get access to more templates on Microsoft Office um, online using the search. Before we continue with editing, editing this newsletter we chose as the template, we want to look at the menus in the toolbars here. We have File, which you should be familiar with, and you have extensive amounts of uh, menu uh, options here, um, such as Publish to the Web. This is useful if you want to uh, publish your uh, newsletter, website, or whatever you have over the internet. Be sure to know that you must have a uh, FTP provider. Um, or a web hosting provider mentioned in this little uh, pop-up. You can pack and go, which means to take this entire uh, file and pack it up and so that you can do editing on another computer. You can convert into a web publication. Note that when you convert anything into a web publication, uh, the object is you're going to be viewing your uh, thing, your, pub your project on the web. You can do a web preview and so forth. Editing. We mentioned in the last video if, if you go to edit and you go to business information, you can go ahead and choose and create new business information. This is so that when you have a new template and you want to add information like your name, owner, uh, job position, organization name, address, email, and phone. You can have all of this and, and import that in your publication without actually typing all of that information. This is very quick and easy to do. View. You can have a master page. Your master page is basically anything that, anything that you put on your master page will show up in every page of your publication exactly where you put it on the master page. I don't usually work with master pages, but just know that anything you put on this master page will be on every uh, page on your publication in the same in the same spot. I should say. We can close that. We have insert, which you can insert a new page, duplicate page, uh, a design gallery, which is useful if you want to add uh, buttons, borders, attachments, and all these nice little uh, attention grabbers logos we already have our logo right here master heads marquees and all kinds of other little uh, things to make your publication stand out you can insert text boxes pictures um, and so forth now video video is not but by default you cannot insert video into a publication however if you have uh, one way I, I know how to add video into uh, my publications is if you have a program or a uh, if you know how to use HTML I should say or you have a program where you can uh, uh, make an HTML for video go ahead and make HTML and you can insert an HTML video uh, snippet in here and once you pu uh, Present it into a web page or save it as a web page, you can view it your HTML inside this publication. That's one way I know how to uh, put a video on uh, my documents here in Publisher 2007. You can add objects and format. You can format the background and all these, all of these things you can play around with and change your, the aspect of your uh, design tables, you can add tables and so forth. So you can add all kinds of things here. And like I said, I've completely customized the way I want to view my toolbars. You can go ahead and do that as well. Let's take a look at this over here. This is the task pane. And you have all kinds of uh, options here as well. Research. You can go ahead and, uh, especially if you have an internet connection, you can go ahead and type things in like, um, I don't know. Microsoft and you can view uh, things have it set for um, 
whatever you want to find so if you type Microsoft here and you search in one of these search references you can go ahead and find things here for research it's also a nice, nice little dictionary design checker this is in case you have errors in your uh, document you can go ahead and run this before you actually save your publication publisher task you can do things such as add text and images print send an email post to the web find and replace these are all options that can also be found in the menus clip art you can find all kinds of clip art here business information content library this is if you want to say you have this nice little picture here and you want to add this to the content library so whenever you go to the content library uh, you'll find all the content that you saved here that way you can easily get access to whatever you want to put in your uh, publication page options color scheme this is nice you can change the color scheme they by default they have all of them are these colorful color schemes here if you want to choose one right now we're currently using a tropics color scheme you can go ahead and choose all kinds oh this is perfect for our, our new display this is perfect and this changes the entire aspect color scheme of your publication we use the citrus color scheme you can also add your own you can go ahead and create a new color scheme and you can change the various uh, colors of the text menus and borders and all kinds of things even hyperlinks font schemes you can also create your own font schemes styles your own styles you can, I'm telling you anything you want to change you can change background I usually uh, change backgrounds when I'm making websites graphics manager your master page email merge mail merge which we'll talk about in teaching videos of Microsoft Office catalog merge all kinds of things now I typically stick with the format publication here you could choose your page options color scheme options font options and newsletter options which is exclusively for the uh, newsletter now I want to also talk about web if you say we want to make this into a website we can choose convert and it's gonna give us some information here I'm gonna say yes we're gonna basically what we're doing is we're gonna save this and it's gonna create a nice little navigation bar this is in case we wanna because we turned it into a web actually I don't want a, a navigation bar so we're gonna take that out we don't need that basically what it's done is it's turned our newsletter into a website so that we can put our newsletter on the internet now what I, the reason I did this is because I want to show you the web options here if you go to edit or format I should say no not format no tools go to tools I should and go to options and this is something I also want to show you can change various options here such as uh, whether you want the document to save every 10 minutes and so forth go to tools and go to web page options you don't get web page options if you're not doing anything other than a website and with that you can give this page a title this will be shown in uh, the web browsers tab file name keyword description you can even add background music and so forth so I want to show you that you can also have other web options and so I just want to talk about that and this is really about it for publishers this is really all I want to really get to in publisher when we do the teaching videos and I can't stress this enough that I will be doing videos that will be talking about these uh, programs in more detailed uh, information uh, we'll get into more informative stuff on publisher but this is all we want to really talk about with the new look and style of publisher and that's it for this video